fathers defended Egypt's right to will always stand witness to Egyptians' determination to chart their own course. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by His Excellency, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former Assistant Foreign Minister. A very good afternoon to you, Mr. Ambassador. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Ambassador. Now, of course, today we all witnessed uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit to the Suez Canal and how uh, really he congratulated and celebrated with all the Egyptian workers uh, their efforts in getting the waterway back uh, in operation. The President said this crisis has affirmed the importance of the canal. Uh, let me ask you, Mr. Ambassador, how is the Suez Canal vital to world trade uh, and the world economy uh, in general? Uh, let us say, of course, it is the most important waterway in the whole world. Yes. And it is a leading force in the international trade. Uh, it was well known as the oil canal. Now it is the containers canal mm -hmm. and it's very important to join uh, Africa and Asia to Europe and the United States yes and it is as old as ages uh, uh, of course this is not the first canal in Egypt uh, before that we have uh, connected the river Nile to the Red Sea uh, the canal of Amir al mm -hmm. and uh, before that in the pharaonic time it was Caesar's Street Canal uh, now it is directly from uh, the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And from day to another, it is gaining more and more attraction to the international trade. Yes. And once we were trying to uh, have the opportunity and the knowledge about other uh, uh, canals, and I asked the director of the Kiel Canal in Germany, and he, he, he said exactly, I am flattered if Canal Suisse is asking about us. By that time, Canal Suisse was gaining something like a billion dollars a year, mm -hmm. while the Kiel is getting something like 40 to 50 million dollars only. Yes. So everybody is looking to the canal uh, in Egypt as also the most efficient uh, administration. I, I didn't hesitate to believe that this uh, trouble will we, we'll be finished in, in hours or few days. Mm -hmm. And I, yes. I want to recall mm. when we, the canal was totally closed in 1956 mm -hmm. and in 1967. Mm -hmm. uh, and by that time, the whole world was suffering. And really, we, we have the pleasure to open it again. And we have much more honor now that uh, our leadership decided to enlarge the canal and here we are answering to those who were questioning the uh, economic impact of enlarging the canal. Mm -hmm. I think now it is time to us to ask for doubling completely the canal. Mm. And it deserves to do that. Absolutely. The, the things that the president uh, declared today, mm -hmm. adding to uh, the canal as a waterway, but it will be a, 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 an economic zone. Mm. We are calling for people to come and invest in this zone. Yes. We shall uh, make it a sort of a free uh, zone for those who are producing mm. with the Egyptian uh, workers, with the Egyptian material, and export to Europe, export to Africa, export to the Arab world. Mm -hmm. And I, I think this will be one of the most successful uh, economic zone in the whole world also. Absolutely. And this, of course, for us very important to create more and more jobs for our gener new generation who is seeking for a better life and for much important jobs, inshallah. Indeed. Today also the president announced the new project to uh, uh, enlarge the agriculture area yes. by another 2 million sedans. This is a huge something which did not happen in the last 100 years. Mm -hmm. I hope, really with all honesty, I hope that this will uh, get to a real uh, success for Egypt, for its people, for especially the young generation. Indeed. Mr. Ambassador, as you said, uh, you had no doubt that within a few days the canal would be back in operation and uh, 
before this happened there was lots of speculation whether it was in the oil prices we've seen them rise and fall on speculation and reports on the efforts to end and to refloat the ship reopening the waterway we've seen uh, other um, world parties talking about alternative routes etc what is the economic cost of that uh, in your opinion mr ambassador I am afraid that I read and hear uh, some exaggeration about yes. that. Mm. Because, of course, there was something more than 300 uh, uh, ships were waiting for the roll. Mm. We, we, didn't lost, we didn't lose them. They are going to cross the canal. And, we, of course, we can accelerate the process until we uh, absorb uh, this traffic. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other thing that maybe uh, the insurance will be responsible for the stoppage of the uh, maritime traffic for uh, now uh, so, some few days. We are not talking about billions like some people are saying. It's, mm. It must be very few million dollars. And uh, I don't think that with the huge revenue of uh, the Swiss Canal, more than $5 billion, uh, I don't think that there are uh, real losses there. And we, we should uh, ignore talking about uh, the, 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 this sort of uh, thinking. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Right. Your Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former Assistant to the Foreign Minister, thank you so much, sir, for joining us and for your time and uh, your insight on our continued coverage here on LTV International. And we continue with uh, more news making the headlines. The Suez Canal Authority announced officially restoring the navigation at the Suez Canal after they managed to release the mammoth ever given ship that was stuck in the vital waterway. President Abdel Fattah Sisi said Egyptians succeeded to end this crisis despite the enormous technical complexity that surrounded the process. We have more details in the story. More than 100 ships were set to pass through the Suez Canal in both directions by Tuesday morning as the Suez Canal Authority SEA seeks to end the traffic jam caused by the stranding of the ship Evergreen within four days. The announcement was made by the SEA chairman Osama Rabia, who said in a briefing on Monday that navigation along the canal was resumed at 6 p.m. local time, almost two hours and a half after the Evergreen was fully refloated. The 400-meter-long Evergreen, which was on its way from China to the port city of Rotterdam in the Netherlands, veered off course and ran aground diagonally while it was passing through the international trade route last week. The giant ship, which had been wedged sideways across the waterway for six days, caused around 422 vessels to be cooled at the waterway or at anchor awaiting transit through the canal, through which around 12% of all world trade passes. Rabia said that operations at the canal will continue around the clock to clear the traffic jam caused by the misshape, which should be cleared within four